Hi everyone, Niklas Seidloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. In this video I will demonstrate eight of the new projects that have been contributed to OpenNTF over the last three months. The project of the months in April 2010 was Wildfire. Wildfire is a status updater component for the Lotus Notes 8.5 sidebar. You can use it to get a list of aggregated feeds from various social networks um, as well as to update your status in several of these um, networks at the same time. The social networks that are supported are Lotus Same Time, Connections, Facebook, Twitter, WordPress, etc. It, um, the Wildfire has been contributed by the IBM business partner ISW from Australia and you can download the release from the OpenNTF project area. So let me show you quickly how it works. Um, this is my Wildfire sidebar component. Um, at the bottom here you can see a federated list of feeds. In my case feeds from two different networks, um, you know, um, displayed here in two different colors. Um, here is a list of networks that I um, configured and you can define your own networks here in the user preferences. I've done that already for bl um, Bleed Yellow. I can create um, you know, additional ones um, right here. Connections, Facebook, um, same time, etc, etc. In this case I just delete it and go back. And um, you can also obviously post status updates um, and um, when I do this now I get prompted whether I want to post it to all my social networks and in this case I say no but I could do that as well if I wanted. The OpenNTF Project 3D History Thumbnail Viewer is an Eclipse plugin for the Lotus Notes client. It allows you to graphically navigate between your application tabs. Let me show you how that works. Here's my Notes client and I have a new action here in the tools menu called history and I have that same action here in my toolbar as well. When I click it I open the um, thumbnail viewer and now I can use my keyboard to navigate between the different tabs that I have recently opened and I can uh, switch to another mode which looks like this and once I have found the right application I can just hit enter to open that tab. The Project XPages mobile controls contain some sample apps and controls to build custom mobile applications for Blackberry, iPhone and Android. The project contains a deck describing the details of this project as well as um, various videos for the different parts of the project. Let me demonstrate now the highlights. So here is an iPhone simulator and you can see the OpenNTF block application. When I scroll down you can see the next view entries are loaded automatically. I can open a specific entry um, to read it. Um, it shows me the text, the um, image in this case, um, comments if there are comments and it allows me to post um, a new comment. I can also use the browser navigation buttons. I can open other entries here. I can bookmark the, um, the entries. Um, here you can see a comment and as you can also see you get these nice page transitions for free. The same application also works offline. In order to demonstrate that I choose uh, Firefox because it's easier to demonstrate. Um, Firefox asks me now whether I want to allow storing data locally. I say allow and um, the first 10 block entries are cached now um, locally um, so I can you know just open them when I'm online and now when I switch to offline and hit refresh you can see um, I can still see the same 10 documents here block entries and I can even open them as I could open them earlier. The last part of this project is called X Camera. Um, it shows you how you can use the camera of your um, smartphone. So here I have um, a picture taken by my um, real Android phone, a picture of my monitor and by using the simulator now, Android simulator, I can open this application X camera and um, it shows me the same picture in just a second. I remove it now 
and it brings um, it shows me this new user interface um, where I can take a picture and in this case since I use the simulator I get this um, so I click on this button and now you can see the picture of the simulator and I can upload it to my nodes database on OpenNTF and here's my picture so I can see that same picture here in the internet now as well. There is another new project in OpenNTF called Builder, which has been contributed by Peter Quintenson. It's an application that allows you to distribute images using your Domino infrastructure. There's a rich client user interface to upload new images. For each image, you can define title, category, text, description, and whether or not to display it on, a start, on the start page. The start page is what you can see here in the web user interface, which has been implemented via XPages. It comes with this nice um, picker control or carousel component. And from here you can open the, the images directly. You can also navigate to the images via views, um, categories, um, RSS feeds and tags. And in the rich client you can also define more settings for administrators like the sizes of the images and other settings for the start page. The OpenNTF project Source Sniffer has been contributed by Ferry Kranberg. It's an extension to Domino Designer that allows you to search for text in various design elements like Lotus Script, JavaScript, X Pages, etc. Here's a quick demo. I have an X page opened and now I can select some text, let's say this view name. Um, and now I can click on this new icon at the top so that I see the search results down here. As you can see the same view name um, appears also in my other two X pages, my offline document and the other one called O. And I can um, go in here and you can see the search result highlighted in this source code preview. There is a new project on OpenNTF called XPages Toolbox, which contains a couple of tools for XPages developers and it includes a CPU profiler and a memory profiler. This is the web user interface of that application. From here you can start the CPU profiler. Start it. Now you can go to any other application on your server and do something. And then go back, stop the profiler and now you can see the new um, the X page that we've just called um, m.xsp, you can see um, all the code that has been executed, um, how many times and how long it has taken. The other part of this application is the memory inspector and I've already done this previously. The result of that is an XML document which shows the databases that are open, it shows the open sessions and it uh, shows the sizes of um, this data. The new release of import and export for Domino Designer also has some new functions. First of all, there are new icons here in the toolbar to make it easier to invoke the tool directly from Designer. And as previously, you can import controls directly from the OpenNTF catalog. And with the new version, you can now also use controls that use Java code like this one, RSS feed X page control. And the other new function is this export dialog that allows you to generate a zip file containing various design elements and also license information um, and the notice file. The XPages demo application has been updated to Domino 851. As previously, there is um, a web user interface with various tests um, and you can go in Designer to see the code snippets. For example, um, here's some uh, tests for Ajax, etc. Um, and the new version now contains also samples how to use X pages in the rich client. Um, right here you can see a composite application with um, several components and also an X page running in the sidebar. Um, you can switch to other pages in this application and can see that you can wire um, the components and X pages between each other. <laughs> 